Hi, I'm Jordan from HC Components UK and today I'm going to show you how to service the X1 pedal. The tools you'll need to service the X1 pedals are an 8mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, an HT slim headed 8mm socket, a socket wrench, Teflon based grease and some paper towel. First of all you need to remove the end nut. To do this you'll need to use a 5mm Allen key. Simply turn the Allen key in an anti-clockwise direction and it will simply slot out quite easily. Put it to one side to make sure you don't lose it. Next we will need to remove the end nut. To remove the end nut you'll need something to hold the axle still so an 8mm Allen key and also a socket wrench and also an 8mm socket with a slim head. We sell these. Insert the socket into the end and hold the nut captive and then the allen key to hold the axle still. For the right hand pedal you need to turn it clockwise and for the left hand pedal you need to turn it anti-clockwise. There you can see the nut in the socket. Put this to one side to make sure you don't lose it. The axle should be now free to um, fully pull out of the pedal, so pull it straight out. And um, make sure to keep your eyes on the two spacers. Here you'll see them attached to the bushing. Keep these in sequential order, so there's a small one and a large one. Keep these next to each other to make sure you don't lose them. Now we need to clean the ends and um, any dirt or debris that may have worked its way into the pedal. So push in an old rag or a cloth and remove any uh, grease or dirt that's made its way in. Make sure you get all of the excess grease out because we'll fully, fully replace this in a minute. Now we'll just clean the axle, remove any dirt, grit or uh, any grease on the axle left. At this stage we're going to reapply the two washers. First of all the slim one, the rubberized one, and then the uh, metal, slightly thicker one. Now you'll need to use some Teflon based grease and apply this liberally to the axle. Make sure you get a nice even coating all the way over the axle. It's always good to use a little bit too much and too little because we can always uh, remove any excess at the end. Now reassert the axle into the pedal. Next what we'll do is just um, reinsert the nut You'll still see it still in the end there. Just slightly thread it on with your fingers just to make sure that you don't cross thread the axle. So for the right pedal, anti-clockwise, for the left pedal, clockwise. Just make sure you uh, hold the axle tight with the Allen key and thread it on the opposite as the way before. Make sure you do the pedals tight. Here they're a little bit too loose so I'll tighten them a little bit more and a little bit too tight now so do make sure you get that pedal play right. It's got to be smooth but it's still got to have a little bit of tension on the bearings. Now we'll wipe off any excess grease left. This will stop any dirt sticking to the pedals when you're out on the trails. Now all that's left is to apply the uh, end nut. Again with the 5mm Allen key. And just slightly nip it up to stop any dirt working its way into the pedal. And there we have it. And that's how you service the HTX1 pedal. And uh, many more hours of happy riding. Cheers, thanks a lot.